don't know how, but you did it. Made it way. I don't know how, but you did it. Made it way. I don't know how, but you did it. Stand
time you know he made a way for you. He made a way for you. You're only here because he made a way. He made a way. He made a way. Kind of wave those hands. How many know he made a way? of your, your loss in the midst of your setback he's making a way he'll do it he will do it lift those hands to heaven hallelujah tell him thank you right now right now tell him thank you God is an awesome God certainly I'm welled up Hallelujah. Didn't know all this going to be about me today, and y'all just got me all messed up. I don't know if I can preach that. Uh, you might go and lay me in front of this altar the way y'all had me up there today. Uh, y'all got me. Hallelujah. But I, I, I want to let you know that God is a good God. I, I want to let you know that you are kingdom priests kingdom queens start living like it look at your neighbor and say you're a kingdom priest start live, living like it start acting like it start walking like it start talking like it you are a kingdom priest Exodus 19 Five, look what it said. Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then you shall be a peculiar treasure unto me. Above all people. I'm, talk I'm not talking about color. I'm talking about Christians. If you're a born again believer, you are a kingdom priest. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, start living like it. You may be seated in the presence of God right there. Live like it. God is an awesome God. He created you to have dominion. He created you to walk in his kingdom and be a kingdom priest. So what are you saying, Pastor Harold? I'm not going to be long because today is for spent. Because it's been wonderful. Did my heart so great and wonderful to see the youth department workers and the youth performing and giving God the glory. And it was absolutely excellent because if we don't have acorns falling off our trees, then that tree going to soon be extinct. You got to hear some babies crying and some children working in the church in order for Pleasant Grove to continue to exist. Amen? Train up a child in the way it should go. And when they're old, they won't depart from it. What you put in it, it's coming out. You don't put nothing in, nothing don't come out. But you are kingdom priests. God is saying to you today, you are a kingdom. You're queen, you're, you're prince. And, and sometimes when we talk about black history, the very first thing we think is,
slavery. Can, can, I, can I tell somebody that it's not about that? That's where, that ain't where black history started. It, it wasn't with the overhauls and the cotton sacks on your back. Black history started all the way in the Bible. Joseph was in Egypt. Come on, somebody. Noah's wife was a Canaanite. Come on, somebody. Let me tell you, black history is all in the Bible. When God created Adam, he was down in a place where the dirt was red and dark. How in the world can I create you out of the dirt and you're not going to be the color of the dirt? Come on, somebody. Abraham was from Mesopotamia. Moses' wife was named Zipporah. Black woman. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. Black history is not to create a racial divide. It is for your educational purposes so you don't repeat history. Somewhere down the line, we find ourselves losing our way. But God is saying today, I give to you the keys to the kingdom. Since you're a kingdom priest, I give you the keys to the kingdom to unlock and lock up what you need to lock up and what you need to unlock. Oh, y'all don't want to hear me. He said, I give you the keys to the kingdom. And I wonder, and I want to ask you today, have you lost your keys? So, well, Pastor Hal, what is a priest? A priest is a mediator between human and one or more deities. What do a priest do? You go to the priest to pray to the priest, and then the priest go to God for you. But you don't have to do that anymore as they did in the Old Testament. You are a priest yourself. Start living like it. See, if you're a priest, then you, in order to be a priest, you got to know something about both parties. I got to know something about human, and I got to know something about deity. Can I get a witness here? If I'm going to mediate between you and this deity, then I got to know the deity. Uh-oh. In other words, start living like it. If you're a Christian, you are a priest. In other words, I can talk to somebody and witness to them and bring them to Christ. Let your light so shine so men will see your good work and they'll glorify your Father which is in heaven. So if you're a priest, then you ought to be able to witness to somebody because you know you've been where they've been. Where they're at right now, you've been there, you know that side, and you know him. So I can connect both of y'all. If Oh, I wish that. Somebody say, I'm a kingdom priest. See, if you're a kingdom priest, start living like it. You're a kingdom priest in your household, then you ought to get your household saved. Are y'all hearing me? If you're the priest of your household, you, you, you should get your household saved. Because you are a mediator between them and God. I know something about you. There was one time I wasn't saved, but I know God. Now I'm praying for you. See, the priest used to go into the Holy of Holies and pray for the people. First, he had to pray for himself. They used to tie a rope on him, too, in case he sinned and he went in there. You get the holiday, you got to pull him out of there for God kill him. Ain't God all right? Let me tell you, when you know God, you can be that African queen, that African king. See, I wore this. I didn't wear no overalls. That ain't where I come from. I might have lost my way somewhere down the road. But I, I got to go back to who we used to be. We had positions. There were queens. There were kings. And in Africa, come on, somebody. It wasn't just black. It was white, black, blue, brown, whatever color. They were all there. 
Because he brought out of the whole, when he brought them out, come on now, he brought out people of different races and colors. Out of Africa. Ain't God all right? And I'm so glad right now that he made me after we got here, and we did go into slavery, but one thing about it, nobody's no different than I am. He made all nations out of one blood. When you cut, I don't care what color you are, if I cut you, it's some red blood coming out. Ain't God all right? I'm not mad at nobody. I'm not holding no grudges against nobody. But I am going to walk into my equal opportunities. I'm not holding nothing against nobody. But I know one thing. You can't hold me back. I know who I am. I'm a kingdom priest. I'm going to get all God has for me. I am an eagle person. The king of birds. I don't fly around with chickens. I hang around with people that want to fly above and soar into the areas God wants you to soar in because I am a kingdom priest. And when a king makes a decision, it's final. Ain't God all right? Nobody can't change my mind. Nobody can't twat my understanding because guess what? I am the king. I'm the king over my circumstances. Whatever my circumstances is, I am the king. Guess what I say to him? Whatsoever I bind here on earth shall be bound in heaven. Whatsoever I loose here on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So if I loose prosperity in my life, prosperity is coming my way. If I loose healing in my life, healing is coming my way. If I lose salvation in my life, salvation is coming to my home. Come on, somebody. Whatever you lose, you're going to have just what you say. You don't say nothing, you don't get nothing. My mom said, a closed mouth, never get fed. God said, ask, then it shall be given. He said, knock, and the door shall be opened. You ain't knocking on it. it ain't, ain't nobody going to come to the door. Ain't God all right? He, he that seek shall find. Just, you may knock today. Just keep on knocking. You got to do like that woman that came to the, to, the, to the judge and said, Judge, I need you to avenge me of my adversary. Every day the judge said, Y'all take her and take her away. But the very next day, she get up and go right back to the judge. So, oh, judge. I got an adversary. Would you avenge me? He'll send her back home again. But she'll keep coming right back. See, some of you all give up too quick. Kind of wave your hands. Don't give up on God. When you're a kingdom priest, don't stop knocking. She come back the next day. Oh, Lord. And she knocked one more time. And he said, I'm just sick of this woman wearing me. He called his servant and said, go give her what she needs because she keep on wearing me. How many know God will give you what you need if you learn how to pray to him? If you just learn how to pray to God, keep on, keep on praying may not come when you want oh lord but how many know he's all he's all he's all he's all he's always on time ain't he all right anybody ever call him and you didn't get an answer but you kept on, you kept on calling, you kept right on knocking, soon, soon, you he heard your prayer, oh Lord, how many know he's a prayer answering God, 
oh Lord, if you know it's a prayer, hearing God, wave your hand, won't he make a way out of no way, won't he turn your midnight in the day, whoa, if anybody know how to call on Jesus, it should be black folks, y'all. If you don't know how to call him, something got to be wrong with you. Oh, I call him early in the morning. Get down on my knees. I tell the Lord. Oh, Anybody ever needed him? If you need him right now, wave your hand. Ain't God all right? I feel like praising God. He brought me from a long way. Is anybody here know he's all right? In the all right. In the all right. In the all right. If you know he's all right, say yeah, say yeah. He said, I brought you out under my wings. Ain't he all right? Say yeah, you are a kingdom priest. Kind of wave your hand.